Hey YouTube, this is Jacques Gaines from JGP, and I uh, recently sold my 70 to 200 uh, L series Canon lens. It was an EF mount uh, lens, and it was really beautiful. I loved it. But I went out and bought a, a Fuji X100F. I'm here to talk about how this will complement this in my photography workflow. Oh, no. Hey YouTubers, listen, before I get into this whole thing, I just want to mention, if you can, like and subscribe, and don't forget to press the notification button next to the subscribe button. It also helps if you guys want to see what's going on with my channel. I also have a link to my photo shoots and also link to gear reviews. I put a lot of work into my playlists. Check out my playlist, people. But right now, I'm here to talk to you about why I went out and bought the Fuji X100F. Now the X100F is a physically a small APS-C fixed lens camera that fits in your pocket. That is the only thing about this camera that's small. With its 23 millimeter F2 35 millimeter full frame equivalent fixed lens and the fantastic new APS-C X-Trans CMOS 3 sensor, it delivers a great deal of punch and dynamic range for its size. It offers professional quality in a super small Leica-like package. It offers Japanese style digital convenience combined with the old school dial philosophy us older guys like in a photography workflow. For all these reasons, it became a strong complement to my now adored and loved Fuji X-T2. So in my workflow, the X-T2 will be my primary stills camera because of its ability to adapt to other glass and use the already amazing line of existing X-Line Fuji glass. However, even for a mirrorless camera, glass can make the X-T2 camera a bit bulky for a walk in the city or a hike that is primarily not devoted to photography. The purchase of the X100F is based on the Chase Jarvis premise that the only good camera is the one you have on you. So by having this camera, I cover my bases and on top, I do not sacrifice quality because of the fact that I'm having an APS-C size sensor and a really, really good quality uh, 23 millimeter F to fixed focal lens on that camera. If you've ever checked my channel out, I am a big fan of fixed focal. I believe the quality uh, jump you make when you work with fixed focal is just absolutely amazing. And for that reason, that is why I bought this camera for the workflow. Now, I think maybe we should get into the actual things that are a lot of fun about the X100F itself as a model, as opposed to other models. A couple of things that are getting me excited about this camera. Uh, one is the leaf shutter. What does a leaf shutter mean? Well, it means that you can actually work at high speed sync uh, effortless, effortlessly. All you need is a trigger. And you can actually do high speed sync with any flash lying around. I have a video if you guys wanna go check it out on some high speed sync I did with the FZ1000. The leaf shutter offers you that capability. So effortless high speed sync is something that's really, really cool about this camera. Now this camera also sports uh, a lot of macro capabilities and also inbuilt ND filters. Now, what do ND filters do? Well, to be really quick on that, you, you basically can kill the sun. That's what it boils down to. It's like putting sunglasses on your camera. So what you can do is open up apertures at high in high light situations. And uh, that can be done for fashion shoots when you want to darken the background and make your shot really dramatic by using a flash. It can also be used in macro photography where you want that low depth of field, but you can't open your aperture because there's a lot of sun. So that's a really cool thing about having ND filters on any camera, on any camera. Now, another thing is that I know this will complement a lot of the other fixed cameras, uh, fixed lens cameras I have. I also have the G7X Mark II and the FZ2500. Uh, Both of those cameras are great cameras, but they sport a one inch sensor. And having the APS-C size sensor, if you ever check my channel, you're gonna realize that I am really a fan of physical size of a sensor. The larger it is, 
just the better it is. Full frame, medium format, the whole bit. It just boils down to that. No matter how much technology you throw on a small sensor, you're still gonna, be, gonna get better results out of bigger and bigger sensor sizes. So having an APS-C size sensor on a camera this size that you can sport and go out and walk around town with is just a really, really cool thing. The 23 millimeter focal distance has proven to me, uh, basically what it is is a 35 millimeter equivalent. I think when you actually do street and you actually do candid photography, uh, that focal length is almost completely ideal. Uh, so that is another thing that attracted me to this camera a lot. I will not lie as well, and if you check out why I like the Fuji X-T2, this old school type of dial stuff, I just friggin love. I just love it, it makes sense, it's not complicated, it works for my older head maybe or something like that, but I really do like that and I like the old school approach. Both these cameras are for me stills photography workflow cameras. I know they do video. I might even start talking about some of the video aspects of these cameras, but for now I will be concentrating just on stills. The last thing I want to mention is that I really can't get too much into the details as to how good this camera is, but I do want to promise you guys a couple of things. I want to promise you a couple of photo shoots with the X100F and the X-T2. I'll be using both of them and maybe even talk about the workflow of using both cameras at the same time. I'm going to be doing some street and landscape with the X100F. So stay tuned for those videos. They will be coming out soon. The, these two things are just freaking me out. I have to admit I'm somewhat disappointed on the price of Fuji glass, but you pay for what you get, you really do pay for what you get. I really think Fuji glass is a, a notch up there and I really think it is excellent. So follow me and I will be showing you some great stuff. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram for my high quality stuff. Check out Behance if you like this video. Don't forget to click the thumbs up at the bottom. If you wanna keep in cahoots at what I do, subscribe. And don't forget everybody, keep on making something from nothing. Oh, no.